Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall evaluate determinants to see if the value comes out as a positive value, comes out as a negative value, or can be can can the determinant be a zero value. So let us look at some simple examples based on that. In this first example, let us say we have we have a matrix A like this: two, negative three, one, and four. We want to find the determinant of this. To find the determinant, we're going to write that as uh, A with two lines on the side that way. So let me just change this a little bit. Let me erase all of this and write it again. Determinant of A, like that, is equal to just the numbers 2, negative 3, 1, and 4 with lines on the side that way is going to be equal to we're going to pick the product uh, pro the elements along the major diagonal and then multiply them out 2 times 4 this is 2 times 4 minus the elements along the minor diagonal we're going to take the product of that 1 times negative 3 okay so we took the product we, we are subtracting the minor diagonal product from the major diagonal product and whatever comes out here we will see what the value is going to be 2 times 4 is 8 and then negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3 so therefore 8 plus 3 is 11 therefore this value is a positive number the determinant of a matrix can be a positive value let's look at another example Let's say this time we have a matrix B and then this matrix B, the elements of this matrix are negative 1, 2, 2 and negative 4. We want to find the determinant of this. To do that, we're going to write this as determinant of B is equal to, we'll write the elements negative 1, 2, 2 and negative 4 and then we're going to multiply the elements along the major diagonal which is going to be negative 1 times negative 4 minus the elements along the minor diagonal are 2 times 2 like that and when we simplify this negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4 and then negative 2 times 2 is 4 so therefore when we simplify this 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 Therefore, the, a determinant can be a zero can can have a zero value, and that is what we have seen here. Okay, let's try another example. In this third example, let's say we have a matrix C like that, and then this time let the elements of this matrix C be one, three, two, and five, like that. We want to find the determinant of this, and to get to do that, we're going to write it that way that is the symbol for determinant is 1 3 2 and 5 and uh, we're going to find the product of the major diagonal and then write it out here that's going to be 1 times 5 minus 2 times 3 this is the product of the minor diagonals so when we when we simplify this this is going to be this is going to come out as follows 1 times 5 is 5 and then minus 3 times 2 is 6 and when we simplify this 5 minus 6 is going to be equal to negative 1 therefore the value of a determinant can be a negative value so in the in these three examples we have seen that the value of the determinant could be a positive value the value of a determinant could be a zero value the value of a determinant could be a negative value so these are the, the, this is, we are we will use all of the all of this information moving forward to to evaluate determinants in my next presentation we shall look at some more examples related to determinants